by far and away, as we talked about before, the biggest bang for our fitness venture we're going to be doing is a fitness focus. Okay? And the way we teach this is to identify your landmarks, reasonably straightforward technique with a skin incision, blunt dissection over the superior margin of the bone, and then blunt dissection of that intercostal muscle off the bone, so that you bring the force back out, finger in, finger sweep, lung up or down, move on. And it takes about 30 to 60 seconds. We do an instrument based technique to try and protect the individual from fractures, bone stick injury, and also to assist if the whole chest wall is mobile like with the flail chest. Yeah. It's a little bit more agricultural than the dainty way we learn as junior doctors to do this sort of blunt tension technique. It's much quicker, but we need to obviously tell people around them what we're doing and why we're doing it because it can seem a little bit uh, agricultural mm -hmm. in the process of doing it. So we're going to do our fourth intercostal space and fourth intercostal space only, mid-axillary line. We're going to identify that. We're going to do a four to five centimetre incision. Mm -hmm. And remember, as you go through skin, it'll be a larger incision. As you dissect down to the muscles, it'll be a conical shape type straw structure. Mm -hmm. okay? With your forceps, and this is really, really important, in an anti-plunge grip, so that you're not going to inadvertently go all the way into the thorax. Yeah. You're going to hold your forceps you're going to go over the superior margin of the rib, pop yep. into the thorax and, and then get into the thorax itself properly. And then you're going to blunt dissect the muscle off. And often the first stroke is mechanically advantaged to go down and then go up. Mm -hmm. And you're going to be doing this supine on a stretcher in this sort of fashion like that. Mm -hmm. And that, you know, often takes a few throws to be able to blunt dissect that muscle off and then you're done. And that track will be maintained. You put your finger in, do your finger sweep and it should be okay to move on. You don't need to make your incision just over the bone or anything else. In that space, in that line, it's fine. Uh, when we do this procedure, we're going to double glove because there's some sort of protection against uh, bone stick injury and everything else. We'll carry Gamex thick surgical gloves, the thickest surgical gloves we have, and you can just put them over the top of your clinical gloves. Yep. We're going to be using a scalpel and we're going to use some forceps. We're going to identify the landmarks again, fourth intercostal space and fourth intercostal space only. Four to five centimetre incision, mid-axillary line. So we're going to go through skin and down into that first pink plane. So a little bit deeper than what you think. Make sure that your scalpel's sheathed and out of the way. You're going to use your forceps in an anti-plunge grip. You're going to feel that rib space that you're going for. You're going to get over the top of the margin of that rib. So I've gone over for the next one. Pop through, you can yeah. feel that pop through. And then I'm going to use an up and down blunt dissection technique to get the muscle off, strip the muscle off the bone. Yeah, I can feel that. So it's reasonably agricultural, but you're not going to go too far into the chest because you've got your anti-plunge grip. Yep. Mm -hmm. And then once you're through that plane, you can then put your finger in Straight to be able up. to do that yep. process and do your finger sweep. So that protects you yep. Yep. from the risk of touching a bone that you didn't know was fractured in the first place. Yep. Yep. And if you were to bag valve mask, sorry, intubate the patient, bag valve, uh, bag them, you'll feel the lung come up against your fingers, yeah. which I can, okay? So that's a decompressed chest wound. You can see there's a tract that's there and it will stay open mm -hmm. and it's got less risk of retentioning. Mm -hmm.